Okay, since I started doing hunting cartridges, my number one most requested cartridge without doubt has been the 220 Swift. Uh, and that started on the 22-250 video and anything I've mentioned anywhere close to five and a half millimeter bullets, this, this has come up. 220 Swift is an interesting cartridge. It actually set a record when it first came out, which by the way, came out in 1935. It was developed by Winchester for use in their Model 54 rifle. All right. Uh, it's meant for small game and varmint hunting, although I'd imagine you could make use of it on some other stuff too. And I would like to see what it'd do with some modern heavier weight bullets. Uh, all I have is just information that I have. I mean, if you've got some information on heavier weight bullets, by all means, share it. So, the nearest competitor to this cartridge when it came about in the 30s was the 22 Hornet. Which, 22 Hornet's not a bad round, but it's not exactly a, a barn burner either, all right? So entered the 220 Swift, which was the first factory loaded rifle cartridge to develop a muzzle velocity of greater than 4,000 feet per second. So you're talking about a considerable step up, all right, in power. Now, it is not uncommon to get 30 grain, 29, 30 grain bullets at 46, 65 or so. Uh, it's very, very, very powerful, uh, very fast, very high pressure cartridge. Um, and I have actually, I haven't confirmed this, but, uh, and the 220 Swift is one of, if not the fastest commercial cartridges in the world. Um, like it's like, as far as in factory loaded guys, I'm sure you can hand load some other stuff and get it up there. But remember you can hand load the other, you can hand load a 220 Swift too. So, uh, it's based off the six millimeter Lee Navy cartridge, which we discussed in its military guys. Right. And then there are some other. I mean, using two, 220 Swift is a parent case, and you can get some pretty interesting stuff out of that as well. Um, so, what you end up having, all right, 56 millimeter case, case length, 5.56 or .224 bullet, 47 grains of case capacity, rifle and twist, somewhere between 1 and 14, 1 and 16, depending on your bullet weight. Your push is 62,000 PSI of pressure, which put it in perspective, M855 green tip at normal atmospherics in an M16A2 service rifle develops 54,000 PSI. So, this is hot. Bullets, 40 to 60 grain is what I'm seeing. 60 grain bullets at 3,647 feet per second with 1,772 pound-feet of energy. 55 grain bullets at 38, 39 with 1,800 pound-feet of energy. 50 grain bullets, also 1,800 pound-feet of energy, but they're stepping out at 39, 47. That might be what I'd load a, uh, a 220 Swift with, would be a 50 grain bullet pushing there. And a 40 grain bullet at 4,213 feet per second at 1577. I imagine that would explode awful quick, but again, you can push 29s up to 4660 or so. So this is an incredibly powerful cartridge with very flat trajectory that would be well worth considering for smaller games.